Hi, I'm architect Ridul Sharma. Uh, I've been associated with 32nd JK Cement AYA Awards as a capacity of professional advisor. And it has been a wonderful year long journey from uh, vetting process to choosing the end winners for the 32nd JK Cement AYA Awards. Uh, I would really appreciate the whole process of uh, choosing the entries and picking up the winners for the AYA Awards. I really appreciate the work that JK Cement is doing in the field of architecture and validating those architects for their work that is being done. Uh, I also request all the architects out there and hope they send in their entries and be a part of this legacy of JK Cement AYA Awards. And Neda Paar, I have won the JK Cement's Architect of the Year award this year. It's a very prestigious award and I'm very happy to receive this award. Um, JK Cement's award is one of these uh, awards which has been you know, very unbiased kind of an award in the event where uh, we do not have to pay any amount to enter this award event and uh, I, I am very fortunate to get this is the third time I am receiving an award in uh, uh, JK Simmons and uh, I am very thankful for this, uh, this award which I have received. My name is uh, Pratyu Shankar and I am one of the jury members for the JK award, architecture award and uh, I have been uh, associated with uh, JK awards for some time now. Uh, Ten years back I was myself one of the awardees. Uh, JK Cement Architecture Award and uh, so that is why this is one uh, national level award in India that has a huge reputation and uh, we encourage uh, good architects and practitioners to kind of send in their entries. Uh, my experience as a jury member has been uh, very very interesting because for one or two reasons. One is that uh, it is a great opportunity to meet some of the most eminent architects and academics in the field of architecture as your co-jury members. Uh, we go through hundreds of entries and let me tell you the kind of discussions that take place is very enriching. Each and every project is uh, looked into great detail and uh, we are discussing a lot about what is the state of architecture in this country and internationally and in South Asia and hence which are the projects that we want to recognize as the ones that are uh, making a contribution to the state of architecture or making a contribution to the practice. So to my mind, the uh, JK, JK Awards are amongst the most eminent and the most prestigious awards of architecture in this country and uh, not only in this country but uh, it attracts uh, uh, you know, entries from many different uh, other countries across the globe. So we have had, I mean, I've had a wonderful time meeting these uh, very talented jury members and I've had a wonderful time uh, looking at some of the most amazing entries. Uh, we have seen projects that are really pushing the boundary, that are really raising new questions about what architecture should be or what architecture could be. And uh, overall, it has been a very satisfying and an enriching experience. I always look forward to be part of the whole process. Thank you. Architect Vikram Mundekar uh, from Pune, uh, recipient of Commendation Award for Public Building Category in 32nd cycle of JK Cement Award AY. And uh, it has been a very nice experience being here after putting up the project for a competition. We are just uh, uh, that it went through a very impartial process of selection, criteria and then the jury process and then the awards were declared today. So this award has been very special for me because it is one of the prestigious award uh, in the architectural fraternity which is, has been instituted more than 30 years and has a wide legacy and huge legacy for the, the 
nationwide athletes, scenario. Many people uh, who are very senior to us have won this award when I was part of the students and we always used to fascinate it by this kind of award. And uh, today I think it's, it's a nice day where uh, we is, uh, I have been very uh, honored to get this award. Uh, I think this award has a lot of advantages. One is to build in the confidence and the second is that uh, it provokes the professional fraternity to do something much better and better for the society to come. So, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Harshit P. Shastri. I am the winner of the JK AYA for the best architectural thesis from a student. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank JK Simmons for conducting this event in such a grand manner and uh, that just gives a lot of confidence to a uh, younger generation of architects to come together and spread their uh, ideas and uh, thoughts and it's uh, I think it's a huge step for the whole fraternity of architecture for such enthusiastic people to come together and uh, make such great uh, things work. I'd also like to thank JK Simmons for uh, conducting such a grand uh, event over here at Jammu and uh, the whole experience was really satisfying and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for considering. 22 years is a very very long time and uh, I really congratulate the JKIR team for having consistently um, organized this event for so many years. It's a great uh, recognition for the architectural fraternity. The efforts that have been put in for so many months to identify the right uh, projects for the right category uh, the efforts that have been taken is extremely commendable and uh, I am really thankful for the GK group for uh, having supported this for so many years. Uh, today, Edifice Consultant uh, was awarded with the Best uh, Sustainable uh, Architecture Award. Uh, we did this ministry headquarters for the Ministry of Human Development Energy. It's called the Adal Akshay Government Project which is a net uh, zero uh, energy project and uh, based in Delhi. Our project was uh, uh, you know, recognized as the most sustainable uh, project uh, of the year. And thank you, JK Awards, for uh, this honor. Uh, we are extremely humbled and honored to have received 